Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and performance issue with Serious Sam 4 game on your computer. Now, if your game is crashing on startup, then you can go ahead and force DX12 and Vulkan from launch option. So open Steam, go to library and then select your game. Make a right click, then click on properties, then click on set launch options and then you can go ahead and try this command. The command is provided in the video description and then paste it over here, then click on OK and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now you can also try DX12 and check which one is working for you. Now if you are able to launch the game and if you are facing the crashing issue, then you can go ahead and try different graphics API. So you can go ahead and launch the game first. Now click on options, then click on graphics option. And now here you can see graphics API. For me, DirectX 11 is working fine. So if you're facing any problem, you can go ahead and try another API. So you can go ahead and select DirectX 12 or Vulkan and check which one is working fine with you. Now, for many users, they have set the field of view to maximum. So you can go ahead and set it to maximum. This has worked for many users. And you know, select the API graphics API, which is working fine with you. And then you can go ahead and apply the settings. So press F3 on the keyboard, or you can click on apply. Then click on yes. And then you can go ahead and close the game and then launch the game once again. And that should go ahead and fix the problem. Also make sure that you disable the steam overlay. This is also causing the crashing issue. So go to steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties. Then uncheck the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game. And then you can close this and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again. That should go ahead and fix the problem. Now also close all the overlay and overclocking application which is running on the computer. So if you have MSI afterburner running on the computer, you can go ahead and close it. If you have a revert tuner, go ahead and close it. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have discord, make, make sure that you go ahead and close discord. If you have GE force experience open, go ahead and close it. And then you can go ahead and try to relaunch the game. Uh, if you have a laptop with dual graphics card, make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphics card. So go to the desktop, make a right click on the desktop, then select Nvidia control panel. Go to manage 3D settings, then click on program settings. Now select the game exe file, so click on add. And you can go ahead and select the game exe file from here and then click on add selected program. If you don't see the game exe file over here, then you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. And then you can open the steam folder, open steam apps, open common folder and then open the game folder and then select the exe file from the bin folder, open the bin folder x64 and then you can go ahead and select SAM4 and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, click on this drop down and select high performance NVIDIA processor, then click on apply. And once this is done, you can go ahead and launch the game. You can also add the game to graphics settings. So you can go ahead and type in graphics settings in window search, then click on graphics settings, click on browse, Again, go to the game installation folder. And then select the game exe file, then click on add. Click on options and then select high performance and then click on save. And then you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and perform clean boot. So to perform clean boot, you can go ahead and type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all, then click on apply, then click on OK and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now also make sure that you stop all the application which is running in the background. So go to the start menu, then click on settings then type in background application. So just type in background apps and then click on background apps and make sure this is turned off. 
The next step is to set priority as a real time for the game. So when the game is running, make a right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager. And here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, then click on go to details. And then again make a right click on the game exe file and then click on set priority as real time. Then click on change priority and then you can go ahead and try to relaunch the game. Also make sure that you close all the power hungry app. So in the task manager, go to the startup tab and then disable the disable all the unnecessary program which is running on your computer. Also manually set the virtual memory for that open file explorer. Click on this PC, make a right click on this PC and then click on properties. Then click on advanced system settings. Click on settings. Then go to advanced tab and then click on change. Now uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size. Uncheck this and then click on put a check on custom size and then now here you can see I have 8 GB of RAM. So if you have 8 GB, you can go ahead and just type in 8192 over here. And for maximum size also you can go ahead and type in 8192. Then click on set and then click on OK. Now in case if you have 16 GB RAM, then you can go ahead and type in 16384 in both the boxes. And then click on set and then click on OK. And then click on OK because we have you have to go ahead and restart your computer. So after this, go ahead and restart your computer. Then click on apply OK. And once this is done, go to the start menu, then click on restart. And after the restart, you can go ahead and try to launch the game once again. Now, if you have RAM more than 32 GB, then it's, it is not required because you have enough memory. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website and then go ahead and select your graphic card from the list. So make sure that you select your graphic card, then click on search and then click on download. And once the file is downloaded, you can go ahead and run the exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom, then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, put a check over here, then click on next and then do a clean installation of your graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Also make sure that you update your Windows 10. So go to the start menu, then click on settings, click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Also make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any antivirus program running on the computer, make sure that you allow the game exe file and then you can try to launch the game. If you're using Windows security, then you can go to start menu, open settings, go to update and security, then click on Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection, scroll down, and here you can see ransomware protection, click on manage ransomware protection. And you can, if this is on, you can go ahead and click on allow an app through control folder access, and then click on yes. And then you can click on add an allowed app. And then you can go to browse all apps. And then you can go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file. Select the game exe file, then click on open and this will add the game exe file over here. Now, in case still you're facing the problem, you can go ahead and turn off control folder access or you can go ahead and turn off your antivirus program while playing the game. And once you're done playing the game, you can always enable the control folder access and your antivirus program. Now, the next step is to repair the game in Steam. For that, go to game library, then make a right click on Serious Sam 4, then click on properties. Go to the local files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files. And once this is done, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. If nothing works, then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game. So click on uninstall game. And once that is done, you know, you can go ahead and reinstall the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem. So one of the steps should definitely help you to improve the game performance. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.